now with Vote 2024 heating up across the nation. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump both on the campaign trail today visiting crucial battleground states. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with more. Ben. Well, Kyle Vettigal, these are states that could decide the election as Trump and Harris gave dueling visions on their plan for the economy. With the presidential election six weeks away, both sides crisscrossed the country Wednesday with former President Donald Trump in Battleground, North Carolina. A very big hello to North Carolina. It's a state that he won in 2020 as he campaigned in Charlotte, where he talked about his vision for a second term in office. If I'm elected president, we will have the world's reserve currency in better shape and order, and every country will follow it. As Trump also took aim at his Democratic rival. We are going to to defeat comrade Kamala Harris. Vice President Harris touched down in Pennsylvania where Trump won in 2016 but lost in 2020 as she rallied support in the swing state. Good to be back in Pittsburgh. It's in Pittsburgh Harris outlined her plan when it comes to the economy. To cut taxes for middle class families and individuals. And that's what we will do. Under my plan, more than 100 million Americans will get a middle class tax break. While the two candidates fight to succeed President Joe Biden. President Joe Biden. The commander in chief appeared on ABC's The View, stumping for his VP, touting that. She is bright. She is tough. She's honorable. Biden advised Harris to be herself as he also discussed his decision to step down from the 2024 race, saying he's confident he would have won in November. Do you think had you stayed in the race, would you have won? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I was confident mm -hmm. I, I, I would beat Trump. Listen, He's I a like loser. Way now, Biden is in New York City for the U.N. General Assembly. When it comes to Harris, she has an interview tonight in about two hours on MSNBC. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben, thank